Where would we be without our best friends? We all need that one person who we call our bestie, who will listen to our problems and love us despite our flaws and mistakes. Well, celebrities are no different. They also rely on their closest pals through all the good times and the bad. Sometimes, celeb friendships are front page news. Who hasn't heard about that time Jennifer Lawrence and Amy Schumer made each other cackle by co-writing a script? Or how Brad Pitt and George Clooney developed a high-profile friend thanks to their Ocean's Eleven days? But sometimes, celeb friendships can go undetected enough by the public to arrive as a surprise when they find out the two like to kick it even when the cameras stop rolling. Here are some real-life celeb besties you might not know about. Jennifer Aniston and Courtney Cox Given how close their friends' characters were on screen, you might not be too surprised to learn Jennifer Aniston and Courtney Cox made nice in real life, too. Oh, I love you! I love you too. <laughs> but these former co-stars' friendship has long outlasted those days spent on the Apartment 20 set. They first made acquaintance on the show, just like how Rachel jilted her would-be husband at the altar and moved in with Monica. And life imitated art when it came to their maid of honor situation, as Cox took Aniston's side during her wedding to current hubby Justin Thoreau. Even cuter still, Cox's daughter, Coco Arquette, calls Aniston her godmother. Of their lasting friendship, Aniston revealed that she leaned hard on her former co-star when she split with her first husband, Brad Pitt. She told Moore magazine, I've slept in her guest bedroom a lot. Without giving away too much of my private stuff, all I can say is she's been there for me through thick and thin. And yet, they tell us there's no reason for a friend's reunion. You know, we haven't actually seen each other in, in a really long time, like eight years. What? Now, David, that is not true! It's Matthew. Jimmy Fallon and Justin Timberlake Some might mistake Jimmy Fallon and Justin Timberlake's quippy on-screen bromance as just for show, but they're the real deal, all right. The two have shared in a ton of hilarious Saturday Night Live sketches and shorts. And just as they were introducing their song and dance shtick to the world, they were also cementing what would become a lasting friendship behind the scenes as well. You did it again! <laughs> no, I, I thought I was going to do it, and then I go, you know what? Oh, because it's special. Yeah. The stars had actually met more than a decade earlier at the 2002 MTV Video Music Awards, when they were both experiencing firsts in their respective lives. It was Fallon's first time being on the show, and it was the first time Timberlake performed solo after leaving NSYNC. But it was their SNL experiences together that really made their friendship sing. And they've kept the bromance going, on screen and off screen, ever since. Nice! <laughs> Air five! Jennifer Garner and Jessica Biel Timberlake's wife, Jessica Biel, meanwhile, met her best friend Jennifer Garner while filming the 2010 rom-com Valentine's Day, and they've been besties ever since. Garner told Marie Claire, We don't work with a lot of women on our films. On this film, it was great to have someone like Jessica around, even though most of our scenes as best friends were over the phone. Garner's feelings about Biel came out in a sweet tribute to her at Variety's fourth annual Power of Women Gala in 2012, when Garner said, Her heart is made of gold. Once Jessica has committed to something, if it's to a girlfriend, if it's to a role, if it's to a cause, you can count on her to take it the whole way through. Just imagine all the steez these two have going on when they go out, too. Tina Fey and Amy Poehler Golden Globes watchers will no doubt know that Tina Fey and Amy Poehler have an enviable working relationship together, but their sisterly chemistry is definitely not pretend. The two go way back to their improv days in Chicago's Second Street Theater, and they've been entertaining audiences, and each other, ever since. Together, they were a force on Saturday Night Live, and in both of their autobiographies, they each tout each other as supreme sources of professional and personal inspiration. But there's even more to the story than that. It's not a, all the way twin speak, but I think, you know, if we're, like, in a crowded place, we can come up and be like, the thing with, we need to, Seth and mm -hmm. the, because, right. yeah. The gal pals have seen each other through marriages and kids, and have decided that Amy's two sons, Archie and Abel, will marry Tina's daughters, Alice and Penelope, when they grow up. As Faye told Entertainment Weekly, We have committed that we're both going to wear peach to the wedding. I talked to Faith Popcorn about it, and the trend is going to come down around right about that time that they should get married. So, you know, while their husbands might come and go, these two are in it for the long haul. Nina Dobrev and Julianne Huff 
Anyone who follows Nina Dobrev and Julianne Huff on Instagram can attest to the great friendship the two gorgeous women share. These two certainly prove that girls just want to have fun, and they have a ball. The Vampire Diaries alum and the Dancing with the Stars judge have been inseparable ever since they were introduced on a sort of girlfriend blind date through a hairstylist. As Huff recalled to E! News, we've known the same person, Rihanna Capri, who cuts and colors and does our hair. She's like, you guys have to meet. We've just been like, joined, connected at the hip and they've certainly got the picks to prove their bond. Kristen Stewart and Dakota Fanning Twilight co-stars Kristen Stewart and Dakota Fanning can't quite remember when they first met, but their friendship strengthened while on the set of the vampire epic. The two would later share the screen in the music biopic The Runaways, and sometime during their back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back films together, they formed a bond everlasting. At Elle's Women in Hollywood Awards event in 2016, Fanning cooed, I can honestly say that my friendship with Kristen is one of the most special bonds in my life. She has held my hair back and talked me through heartbreak. She has always been there for me when I have needed her most. And most of all, she has taught me the power of being 100% yourself 100% of the time. And to think they made such good enemies in the movies. This may hurt just a little. Thanks for watching! Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!